Hey guys, what's going on? Robert French here, aka Red Fox French. Welcome back to Rob's Arcade. We were doing a little something I like to call New Game Friday. Now this is Resident Evil 4, and this is not a new game as you can see. This was developed by Capcom back in 2005. And then it looks like was the re-release for, I guess, PlayStation maybe in 2016. I played this on the GameCube for the original release. Um, this is the second part to this video. I mentioned a little bit more about my uh, experience with Resident Evil in that video. But just a quick recap. Uh, I played a little bit of the original Resident Evil at... Uh, a friend's house on the original PlayStation. It was, it's like the first or second one, I can't quite remember. But most of my experience with Resident Evil came from the Dreamcast title, Veronica, was it Code Veronica? And then the GameCube uh, re-releases of Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1. But this was a game changer. Uh, it was a great game. It was actually quoted as being a reason to buy a PlayStation, I mean, excuse me, a GameCube uh, back then. And I believe that wholeheartedly. Like, this was a great, great title. It took the camera out of the awkward corners of, like, the, you know, offices and hallways and bedrooms of different mansions or. Uh, corridors of train cars and rooms of train cars and really uh, kind of uh, really opened up that over the shoulder camera point of view that we're so familiar with now even in like games like Fortnite and so many others and I, I feel like this game really helped pave the way for that there were a lot of other titles that Nintendo utilized that with but this was probably like the uh, the best one now I was having a little bit of difficulty and I'm sorry, I just kind of abruptly quit my last game. Uh, because I couldn't quite figure out how to pull up my little suitcase. Cachet, whatever it's called. And, um... Oh, cool, I can, I can go back to this point. Alright, good, I'm glad. Because I really messed up bad last time. And, uh... I'm still trying to get used to some of these controls here. It's a little different than the GameCube. And I'm going to have to really up my, uh my game if I want to see this is like taking way too much time to kind of aim on this but that's what these little crows are for to kind of help you get that aim in Let's see you got the wolf over here so you've probably seen some of the, um, some of this that I've already played see me play through all this already but it's my last checkpoint Now, you can blow this dog's brains out, put him out of his misery, but he will come in handy later. Now, this was a fun title for me back in the day. Um, like I said, I mentioned this was a GameCube title, and it was an, an exclusive for a long time, and it kind of made me feel a little privileged. Um, Xbox, PlayStation, known for so many kind of other, like, exclusive titles. And for me, this was, like, a really cool... Uh, a really cool title. Now I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't yesterday. I couldn't figure out how to pull up my little cachet suitcase. And I was like, I pushed every button. I pushed every button. I did not push the mouse pad. Uh, for those of you um, who are not the like the four people who typically listen to me, I'm like 40 years old. I mean, I've been playing video games for a long time. Sometimes there's just way too many buttons. Now the last time I played this through, uh, if you watch part one, I just kind of shot these little guys. And you do want to clear these out the way. You do not want to walk through these. Uh, but I'm going to show you this here. And what we can do is I'm going to... Oh, I see. This is so much difficult. I'm going to see here. I'm going to let him walk down here. He's probably just going to set that off, actually. I come down. No, there we go. There we go. Oh, 
he didn't. Oh, he missed it. Huh. You could probably catch him if you shoot it right in between. You just walk right through there. Now, this game's got a lot of booby traps. There are like bear traps. As you saw, the dog was kind of caught in one of the wolf there. There are a ton of booby traps. Which I feel like is something else that was kind of added to this game. As well as quick time events. Uh, I don't know if any of the developers on this game worked on uh, Shen Yu for Dreamcast, but it definitely reminds me of the quick time events in Shen Yu. Um, as well as booby traps, you want to be careful of the crates because they do contain snakes from time to time. So as you do, you want to do like a little double tap sometimes. I showed this last time, but for those of you who are maybe just checking out part two of this series, or this, uh, this game here. Like I said, I mentioned this is New Game Friday. Th these are not always games that are new, per se, new releases or new titles. These are just new games in my library, and this is a brand new download in my uh, PlayStation 4 library. And it was only like seven bucks. And that's kind of how you want to handle that right there. Oh. Ooh, try to get him on the, uh... And there's nothing, you know, and sometimes, like, there should be ammo, little things that pop up. Right now, I got nothing. Hmm. But, I do have... Some herbs, so let's do that. Yeah, I could not figure out how to pull that up the other day. I'm like, what is going on? I don't know what I said the other day. Does that mean this guy records? Does this guy record his videos in advance? Absolutely. Do this. Spin around. Great technique there. And Especially since I don't have much ammo. I'm getting lots of money, but not a lot of ammo here. And I kind of I ran into the same situation. I feel like when I was playing this the other day here. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Absolutely take this. Uh, I also mentioned these aren't the typical zombies that you might find in a lot of the other uh, Resident Evil games. <laughs> These guys are kind of smart, and they're they're kind of going about their day-to-day -day routine, which you're about to see even more of coming up here. Uh, this is a game I have beaten, and uh, they're different zombies. They're kind of like virus more, and infected, but they're still kind of doing their, I guess, their day-to-day -day life. Leon, how are you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. You got it, baby. So cool. All right. See, none of this was helpful because I wanted to know how to pull up everything. It was like every button, they show you what it does, but what I needed yesterday, which was this guy, my little suitcase. Now, this is something I was thinking about too, though. After I stopped playing yesterday, this this guy has a suitcase, right? Where? 
where in this game is he has there's no suitcase and I kind of feel like it would almost feel better if he had just the pistol in his right hand the suitcase in his left hand and then he could almost use the suitcase as a weapon as well like forget the knife that knife does nothing whatsoever let's let's utilize that suitcase All right, this is where, uh... <coughs> hey, yeah. As I mentioned, these, uh, these villagers... They just kind of go about their day-to-day -day yeah. routine. Yeah, really. And, uh... Ah, hey, while they... Looks like they feed the chickens and all that. I also like to burn the homeboy that I came into town with. Now this game gets super intense uh, from this point on. And a lot of this kind of just hinders on the timing of these characters and where you run. Because right now they don't see me. There is a little house yeah. up along the corner here to the left you want to make your way to. Ah, yeah. And you're going to want to run the whole time. And ah, now looks like a good time. Agárrenlo! Por allí! No dejes que se escape! Vaya por detrás! Why are these people? What are they planning? They're planning to kill your ass. GameCube had a cool uh, chainsaw controller, if I remember correctly. Shit. Shit is right. Son of Here and just go ahead and knock this guy down real quick. He kept that one coming up. Uh, yeah. What you want to do is you want to pit yourself against this back corner here. Because ultimately, uh, actually, let's go ahead. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm gonna just like reload this way. Get this guy going. Let's just go ahead and put this guy. Just kind of back yourself into the corner here and just wait for these mofos. Lump them in a group here. Gotta show it one time, right? You are dead. Hmm. So brutal. So brutal. So good. Yeah, we're gonna continue. Are you kidding me? Mmm.
farm. Oh my god! Ah, model. Creep in here. It's all about the timing. Ah, model. So you want to make sure that pathway is clear. Mierda. Which you might. Ah, model. Here we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Agárrenlo! I am more than a normal language this way. I work in an Italian restaurant. They might know what this is. I don't know. This guy pops up again later on. He is not. Not a major character. Shit. Son of a. I do like this. This is not uh, just like picking up the GameCube version. This is definitely uh, very much like kind of learning the game for the first time. Go ahead and jump out now and make my way. Oh, for sure. Good health right there, buddy. Again, hit yourself here against. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit further up. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a much better. Pathway. I might be able to take a couple of knees out. Oh, wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. For that, we want to use this guy. Do this real quick. Take this real quick. See what happens. And then, uh, up this guy. Other options. Let me go this way. And then run up in here. Let's do this guy here. Oh no, but you don't get the shotgun. Why are you supposed to be off even more? 
All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap it up around here because I'm not sure exactly how long I've been running, but I don't want to go so long. I'm going to be playing more of these games. Like, this is just part of also um, some stuff I'm going to be sharing more in October, some more spooky games. Look forward to some Resident Evil 5, maybe? I don't know. Uh, this is just one of my favorite GameCube titles, and I've been really happy that I've got a chance to play this uh, on a different format. But yeah, look, look forward to more spooky, crazy, zany, scary games. Uh, this is this is not going to be the only one. I love Halloween, so I said, please, please look forward to more. Let's let's see if I get killed again. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, thanks for tuning in, you guys. Always, you know, just remember be awesome to each other. And uh, you know, until next time, don't spend your quarter anywhere else. Love you guys, and uh, we'll uh, see you on the other side. Happy Halloween. Oh, jeez. Not again. Headshot.